Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to talk about mass modeling inside of Revit. Um, for this, I'm going to start with a brand new uh, project. So um, that is, we're going to use the architectural template. Click OK. And um, we are going to, uh, once it's loaded up, we are going to um, create a grid which is going to be very useful for us. So I'm going to use the grid tool which is under the architecture tab and I'm going to start to create some grid lines. So the first one, line number one, is going to go there and then I'm going to come across making sure that I've got my snaps working. 5,000 millimeters and I'm going to create five um, grid lines like this and they're all going to be snapped together which is going to be really helpful. So there is 5,000 millimeters. One more. Uh, here we go. 5,000. Lovely. Okay, so I'm also going to create um, some more grid lines. So coming across this way, and we are going to start at the letter A and press enter and then uh, going up from there I'm going to do this um, in increments of 6,000 millimeters and let's get another one in there A, B, C all done okay so there's our grid let's check our elevations and let's go into the east elevation and uh, this elevation, uh, we currently have a level at 4,000. I'm going to change that to 3,000 3, for this project. And I'm going to add another level, just going to the architecture tab, selecting the level tool and adding another level at 3,000 millimeters above. OK, so level 0, level 1, level 2. Right, let's move these over. And just like this, I'm going to tidy up my grid lines just a little bit. Something like that. Perfect. All right, so the other thing I'm going to need is um, I'm going to need uh, my 3D view. So I'm going to open up the 3D view double click here okay I have my 3d view and I want to tile these windows so I'm going to press WT okay so now I've got <coughs> my um, my elevation uh, my east elevation and I've got the 3d view okay but I'm gonna swap them around I'm gonna move my 3d view over here okay so this is how we're going to create our mass model we're going to go to massing and select and we're going to choose in place mass and uh, we get a message to say that Revit, Revit is enabled the show mass mode which we can turn off and on which is really good so I'm going to close that and click OK mass one is fine all right so um, I've got um, my massing tools open um, I can now start to draw some lines now what we're going to do is uh, create like a skeleton for the form of the mass model. So I am going to create some fairly simple shapes uh, using the line tool. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to set a reference. And this is why we created the grids and levels the way that we did. So I'm going to choose a specific work plane. I'm going to choose grid one. Click OK and then I can uh, start to draw inside of here. And I'm going to draw this line up to 1,500 because I can type in the measurement. Um, I'm then going to use a um, curved uh, line here. I'm just going to pop in a curve just there and then continue to use my straight line tool just like so. OK, I'm now going to uh, set my work plane uh, to grid line two, click OK. And uh, if I zoom out in my 3D view, you can see uh, there is the first lines that I've drawn. Okay, so I'm in here making sure that I've set to grid line two, click OK. And now I can draw 
um, my line again. So this one's going to be a bit bigger. I'm going to click across here, create a shape, and then add a uh, curve in place. This one's going to be a bit more curvy, something like that. Okay, so now I've got these two shapes over here. So moving on, I'm going to set the work plane to grid line 3. Click OK. And I'm going to use the um, pick line tool to pick this line. And you can see that it's drawn that line in there. And that means now I can click here, here, and here um, to uh, complete that shape. And now I can go to grid number four, click OK, use my pick lines. This is going to be the tool curve. And then use my line tool to click around the corners, something like that. Press Escape, and it's coming together. Let's draw uh, one more. So I'm in um, my elevation. I'm going to set the plane to grid line 5, click OK, and then use my pick lines again to select this curve and use the line tool to click on these different points like so, press escape, and there we have our shapes. Okay, so I don't need uh, my elevations open anymore, so I'm going to press the X there, and here are the shapes. Now, if we want to create a form, all we have to do is um, select these shapes. Oh, make sure that I've um, not still drawing. So I select the shapes, and then you'll see the option at the top of your screen, which is create form. If you press that, we now have our form, okay, which is looking really good. So this is a mass model, and we can apply different things to our mass model. One of the things we could do is uh, we could select um, this. Uh, top form here and we could divide the surface using um, this tool just here. So we press divide surface and we get a grid which is really good. Now this is a very standard rectangular grid and you can change the numbers of that grid. We can also select on here to find uh, different types of grids. Maybe a triangle flat grid. Let's select that that's looking good. Okay, so we've got this grid going on. That's brilliant. Now, um, <coughs> I can model each triangle. We can specify what that's going to look like. And we can do that by going uh, to, let's finish this model for now. Let's press the tick. And then we'll go to File, New, Family. And uh, we're going to create a metric curtain panel pattern based. Okay, we're going to click on this, press open, and in here <coughs> we will be able to select the grid first of all and then make sure it is the same as the triangular grid that we were using. And then what we can do is use this here as a point element. I'm going to grab this and place it somewhere on one of these three lines here. So I'm going to pop that there. And then I'm going to select that point and I'm going to make sure that I have um, show the reference always. It's going to make things a little bit easier for me. So I'm going to zoom in just a touch and I'm going to use this reference as my plane to draw on. So I'm going to draw a, uh, I'm going to draw a rectangle here and I'm not too worried about where that rectangle is at the moment. And on this rectangle, I'm going to draw a couple of uh, diagonal lines uh, that will make it a lot easier for me to position this in the center of this um, this line. So I'm going to select I'm going to select all of these uh, lines, not this. Let's see. Let's press Escape. Okay, so let's select this line and Control click these two lines. And now I'm going to use the move tool so I can move the uh, place where those lines intersect and make sure it's exactly in the middle. Okay, now that I've done that, I no longer need um, these diagonal lines and I have to use my tab key to get hold of them. So I'm just going to press the tab key again, select those lines and press delete. Okay, so with that rectangle in place now, what I can do is um, 
I can select this rectangle and then select these lines as well and you can see that create form has appeared again and we can choose this button and you can see that that rectangle is now being used um, to follow that path and create this frame structure which looks really great so I am going to uh, save this so I'm going to save this family um, and I'm going to save it as um, family try angle zero one I'm going to save that to my uh, to my documents and click save okay now that's saved so I've got it I can use it whenever I want in all sorts of different projects but I am going to load it into um, the project that I've currently got open this one here and what this means now is if I edit this model and click on this grid and go into the drop down in the properties I can now see there it is family triangle zero one and it may be a little bit slow working this out but it replaces that grid with the uh, pattern based family that I made okay which looks really good so the mass model is a really useful shape that we can um, use uh, to then uh, create grids or to apply materials or other things like walls or floors to the mass model now the mass, mass model uh, as we know it is uh, visible at the moment so if we need to turn that off and on we can just press this button just here and we can hide it and we can see there is our structure our frame and how it's put that all together now we've done some tests with renders and these look really good so if you want to try some more unusual uh, sort of organic and flowing forms then mass modeling is a great way to do that so I hope you do have a go um, and uh, try that out for yourselves if you get stuck just let me know and uh, and we'll sort it out so uh, lots of things to try thanks for watching and I will see you soon all right bye